Adam Smith is the University of Glasgow's most famous former student. He's known around the world as the founding father of modern economics. Smith was born in the small port town of Kirkcaldy in Fife. His father, a customs officer, died before he was born and Smith was raised by his mother and remained close to her through his life. He came to the University of Glasgow in 1737, aged 14, and studied under the famous philosopher Francis Hutcheson. Smith was a gifted student and won a scholarship to continue his studies at Oxford. This meant that he was away from Scotland during the turmoil of the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745-6. Returning to Scotland, Smith set up as a freelance teacher in Edinburgh, where he gave popular classes on philosophy and literature and joined the clubs and societies of the Scottish Enlightenment, along with friends like the philosopher David Hume. The Scottish Enlightenment were a group of thinkers who believed that science, learning and education would help to banish superstition, ignorance and bigotry. The success of these classes led to his appointment as Professor of Logic and then Moral Philosophy at the University of Glasgow, where he taught from 1751 to 1764. Smith was able to see the rapid economic development in Glasgow at this time and became fascinated by social and economic change. At Glasgow, Smith was a popular lecturer, teaching classes in philosophy, politics, law and literature. Also at this time, he published the book that established his reputation, The Theory of Moral Sentiments, published in 1759. The book is an attempt to understand everyday moral judgment. Instead of telling us what to think about morality, Smith tries to understand how people make moral decisions. He traces this to our feelings, the moral sentiments. Adam Smith's second book is an inquiry into the nature and causes of the Wealth of Nations, published in 1776. In it, Smith argues against what he saw as a false theory of wealth and a false theory of how wealth was created. Mercantilist thinkers thought that the wealth of a nation was measured by the amount of gold it possessed and that the way to secure greater wealth was through colonialism and protectionism. Smith explains that wealth does not consist in gold but rather in the living standards of the whole population. Every man is rich or poor according to the degree in which he can afford to enjoy the necessaries, conveniences and amusements of human life. This means that colonialism and protectionism, which benefit wealthy merchants, actively harm the wealth of the rest of the nation. If we want to understand where rising living standards come from, we need to understand what it was that brought about increased productivity that made more goods available to more people. The Wealth of Nations made Smith famous and wealthy. He spent his retirement serving as a Commissioner of Customs in Edinburgh. Smith died in 1790 and is buried in the Canongate Kirkyard near his home in Edinburgh. Adam Smith's ideas changed the way we think about the world and they are as relevant today as they were 300 years ago.